In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul of the Celtic Orthodox Church. And this is the good news. Christ is born. Glorify him. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 6, verses 1 through to 5. Now it happened on the second Sabbath after the first that he went through the grain fields, and his disciples plucked the heads of grain and ate them, robbing them in their hands. And some of the Pharisees said to them, Why are you doing what is not lawful to do on the Sabbath? But Jesus answered and said, Have you not even read this, what David did when he was hungry, he and those who were with him, how he went into the house of God and took and ate the showbread and also gave some to those with him, which is not lawful for any but the priest to eat? And he said to them, The Son of Man is also Lord of the Sabbath. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and your teachings. Help us to be true and faithful disciples of yours. In this scripture reading today, of course, it's, we've heard it before, about the Lord of the Sabbath. We read about how they were walking through a grain field and some of the disciples started plucking the heads of the wheat rubbing them in their hands and eating them. This is on the Sabbath. The Pharisees saw this and they said, Why? Why are they doing this? It's not lawful to work. They saw it as work. Yes, breaking the Sabbath, the law, that man-made law. And the reply, of course, from Jesus was, The Son of Man is also Lord of the Sabbath. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Son of Man, is Lord over the Sabbath, over these silly rules that man has put on people. Keep the Sabbath holy. And this is what they thought was right. That they should put this law that no work. Quite obvious a misunderstanding. But it's something that came about and was enforced quite frequently. Encouraged. And if someone did decide to work on the Sabbath, We have other examples in the scriptures. Yes. When Jesus was healing people. You're not supposed to do that on the Sabbath. And of course Jesus gave the example about if you had an animal tied up, when you go and feed that animal, loosen the the rope. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, of God is Lord over the Sabbath. It's an important message we should never forget. Not to get bound up in these laws, traditions. No. We must keep the Sabbath holy, yes. God is number one in our lives. 
but not to so much so that these laws stifle your your worship. I urge you all to pray to the Holy Spirit every day that he will open your eyes to the scriptures. I saw an interesting video the other day talking about God, the Trinity as a whole. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And it was brought to mind how often people neglect to approach the Holy Spirit in prayer. Most people just pray to Jesus for help. Or to God the Father which is still good not saying it isn't wrong but the Holy Spirit is there when Jesus returned to the Father and sat at the right hand to the Father they sent the Holy Spirit to us the Comforter to help us to guide us yes we have God who shows the love. We have Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who sacrificed himself for us. We have the Holy Spirit who is there to guide us, to support us. The wisdom of the Holy Spirit is there to help us if we allow him to. That's the important part. Allowing the Holy Spirit to work in each of every one of us. He can only do if we allow him to. Do you? Do you allow the Holy Spirit to work within you? Do you hand yourself over to him to guide you? If you do not allow him, he can't do it. We have been given a free will. This is important. If we fail to allow the Holy Spirit to work within us, he can't. We have to hand ourselves over to God. God the Father, to show us the love. God the Son, to show us the sacrifice that is needed. God the Holy Spirit, to show us the wisdom. Think about that. And every day when you pray, read the scriptures. Pray to the Holy Spirit before you even start reading or praying to help you, to give you the words, the understanding of what you say and what is written. Every day, give them the glory. Glory to God for all things. May the blessing of Almighty God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most Holy Theotokos, save us. Amen.